Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I make Animal Crossing videos every single week. So if you're into that, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. I posted a poll on my community tab to see what you guys wanted to see in the next video. And majority of you guys voted for the tea party. So that is what we are going to do today. I am super excited because this scene from the movie is my favorite by far. So let's just get right into the video. I'm going to start off the build by adding the hedge fencing. In the original movie the tea party scene takes place at March Hare's house and it's surrounded by a bunch of hedges and trees so that is what I'm going to do here but I'm going to create my own spin on the tea party area just because in the movie the main focus is the super large table with a bunch of teapots and desserts that there isn't much going on in the background so I wanted to of course create the tea party tables but also decorate the parts around the tea party just so that it matches with the rest of my island and here instead of adding cliffs behind the hedges I decided to add the castle walls to create a background for the tea party area. I love the castle walls because they come with different styles and colors but I went with the classic stone brick wall because I didn't want it to take away from the tea party. Also the stone castle walls match the stone custom design that I'm using here. I am using my shovel to create holes to give myself a guide. I am going to place it in literally like a race car track type of design because in Alice in Wonderland everything is kind of wacky and crazy so that is what I'm going for when I'm placing the path. This is a beautiful cobblestone design and I think this one fits perfectly here. The holes just help me know where I'm going to curve the path or keep it straight because sometimes it's hard to tell where the design will go when you try to place it on the ground and then sometimes it just doesn't work out so digging holes really help me. And here is how it will end up looking. I wanted to show you guys just in case you wanted to create this on your island and need a guide for yourself. I know this helps me so hopefully it helps somebody out there too. Now I'm just creating cliffs behind the hedges. I'm not going to go crazy creating cliffs. I just want to create it so that the tea party is enclosed just like in the movie. I feel like I just started this island and I'm halfway done already. I'm super proud of myself because of my track record which is finishing one island per year. I can finally say I can probably finish this island in a couple of months. I think I'm going to stick with creating Disney islands. I am a huge Disney fan so if you guys want I'm probably going to start doing this because I'm obsessed with it but I'm going to start creating houses based off of Disney movies so if you have any suggestion on which Disney movie you would like to see turn into a fabulous home let me know in the comments or I will probably most likely create another community poll that way you guys can vote on which one you would like to see I will probably start working on that sometime next month now here I'm going to start creating the tea party area. So the first thing I want to do is add some cedar trees. Based off of the movie that's sort of what they used in the background. I'm going to use different stages of the cedar tree that way I'm not just using only the tall cedar tree and there's some variation of trees even though they're all the same trees but different heights. And for the baby trees I'm just adding a fruit tree behind it. Just in case you didn't know if you add a fruit tree behind a tree it stops it from growing. Now for the star of the show I'm going to add the tables. I went with the birthday table just because there's already a lot going on on the table and if I add my own tables then I'm only allowed to add four items per table and I felt like the birthday table has more of that clutter look to it. In Wonderland fashion I'm going to add different chairs and I'm going to mostly use blue chairs just because I like the blue colors in this game. We want this to look like our first apartment where nothing matches but we still try to make it work. <laughs> I'm also trying to add all of the cute blue teapots that I can find. Now for Alice's chair, I was debating on having either the mermaid chair or the throne, but I went with the mermaid chair instead and I think it looks a lot better than the throne. Now I wish we can customize the birthday sign so that I can write happy unbirthday. That would have been so epic here, but that's okay. <laughs> Of course, I had to add the strawberry cake and 
And I added the white rabbit here, of course, since he led Alice to the tea party. So basically everything you see now up until the end of the video isn't in the scene. Most of the scene is either flowers drawn on the floor or just plain old green grass. And me, I just can't have a bear section and I need to be extra. So I started adding a bunch of stuff because it's fun. <laughs> I've been having so much fun with this theme, exploring new items that I've never used. And here I am using them and using different colors that I thought I would never use but ended up using especially the pansy flowers the only two that I've ever used before this island were the blue and purple ones but honey you would not catch me using the other ones because I thought they were so ugly I've been trying to stop myself from using fairy core items like the nova light or the star fragments so I've just been using a lot of mushroom items like the mush lamp the mushroom parasol and the mushroom stool but it's been a while and I couldn't help myself so I decided to use a nova light here to fill in the empty space we are almost done with the build just adding the butterfly model and some custom designs on the floor and i added this grass standee just to add more weeds to the area and i'm finishing off the build with some star fragments i'm adding them to some of the empty spaces that i didn't know what to do with and here is how the tea party ended up looking. I absolutely love this build. I'm super, super jealous of my villagers right now because I really wish I could be here to sit down and have some of that cake and some tea. I'm also obsessed with how colorful it looks. Like I literally have the whole rainbow just in this one build. Here is another view of the whole area. You guys already know I'm obsessed with this build. It came out so much better than I expected. I still try to keep the concept of the tea party, but bring it up a notch. I do wish Bunny was sitting here because she could have been a March O'Hare and I could have been a Mad Hatter and together we would have been here just having a little party together, but she's sleeping. She doesn't want to be bothered, so that's okay. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to join our little AC family. I hope you guys enjoy this recreation of the tea party as much as I did. I will start doing the Disney homes, so have your post notifications on so you don't miss out on any videos. Also, keep a lookout for my community tab. I will be asking you guys which Disney house you would like for me to recreate. I will start with the Alice in Wonderland house just because it is the theme of my island but after that it's totally up to you guys i love you all always take care and i'll see you guys in the next video which will be posted next week friday at 3 p.m eastern standard time bye